Hi, and thanks for joining me for this new uh, lesson about playing the Beatles this time with the guitar. This is the guitar. This lesson is about Dear Prudence, and we will learn everything, and at the end of the video, we'll, you will be perfectly able to reproduce this one with your guitar. So, there are a lot of things to do, so I would like to start that one immediately. Yeah. Now, today I would like to you know, bring these lessons to the next level and give you an additional value that I am sure you will uh, uh, enjoy for the whole life. Today we will learn, of course, all the chords of the different parts of Dear Prudence, but today we will go beyond that. We will learn how to give our performance the intensity, the interpretations that wows our audience. And this is the most important thing, because everyone plays, but only a few of us are able to leave a sign to the audience and make the, the audience come back and make the audience buy our CDs and whatever. So today we will learn everything about playing, but also everything about interpreting this song. When we approach Dear Prudence, the first thing that we have to do is drop the uh, low E uh, string from the E to a D. So you can do this with a, your tuner, you just have to release the tuning pack here. And if you don't have a tuner, you can try it by here, you know, you, you just have to make it sound like, you know, the D string here. So it's originally an E, you lower, and you lower it down till you hear that the two strings sound similar. Of course, this one is an octave lower than this one. In Dear Prudence, the introduction is very, very close to the outro, uh, except for a few details that we will see later. We will first go through each chord. I will show you each chord and how I play them. Uh, then we will go into every embellishment, every nuance, and every single detail on how to build up the song in a very professional way. So, first of all, the chords. The first chord, this one, you have to put your um, medium finger at the 14th fret of a G string, your index finger at the 12th fret of a B string, and your ring finger at the 14th fret of a high E string, this way. The second chord is exactly the same chord, but you know, moved down two frets, so from here to here. You can play along with me. From here, you go one fret down, one other fret down, and you are here. The next one is this one. Uh, you, you have to place our, uh, your medium finger on the 11th fret of G string, and with your index finger, you press, we press both the B string and the I E string at the tenth fret. So the chord is this one. The next one, the fourth chord, is exactly exactly the same, but move down two frets like this, from here to here. So again, from the beginning, we have. And then, and then we move to the different chord, bring it down two frets, and we have already learned four chords. Now the next ones. So the next one is this chord, which you do by uh, placing your index finger at the seventh fret of G string, then your ring finger at the eighth fret of a B string, and then your um, medium finger at the 7th fret of the high E string. Okay, this one. Then you move to this chord, which you play by placing your medium finger at the 6th fret of the G string here, and then with your index finger again, you press two strings at a time, so you have to place your index finger at the 5th fret, pressing both the uh, B string and the high E string. So... This way. Then, the next one is very important, because I've seen many tutorials, but only a few, you know, captures what uh, is done here in the record. So, uh, you have to move the, your 
fingers this way. Uh, the next chord, you do it by placing your medium finger at the fifth fret of the G string, your ring finger on the fifth fret of a B string, and your index finger on the third fret of a high E string, this way. Then we will go after how I play that. Now, now let's just, you know, learn the chords. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, the last chord of the introduction, which is uh, uh, standard uh, D, which you do by placing your index finger on the second fret on the G string, your um, ring finger at the third fret of a B string, and your medium finger at the second fret of a high E string. This way. And this were the introduction chords. So the whole song is built over um, uh, an arpeggio, which is kind of made of two parts. One is a, a drone arpeggio, which goes on for the whole song, um, and you play with it with your thumb, playing the A, D, E, D, A, D, E, D, continuously, okay? except for a few parts, but the whole song is made like this. And the other one is made with three fingers using the chords that I showed you before. So I will now show you a new way to do this uh, and learn this. Let's start with the drone arpeggio and, and play with me. But then we will add one at a time all the different notes of the other three fingers. So when it comes to do an the A string here, you play the high E string with your fingers here, finger here. Okay. And go on like this till you feel comfortable. Then we go to the second, adding the second note, which is this one again. Okay. The G string, listen again. Then we will add, we're going to add the, uh, the third note, which is this one, so, again. When you feel comfortable with this part, we add the other one. faster. Once you have learned this, you have learned the whole right hand of the song. So you just have to move your fingers with, with the different chords here and the, the pattern is always the same. Okay, let's now mix the two hands. I will now show you how to play them together, which is very simple once you learn them separately. Let's go. First chord, second chord you move here, remember the last, for each chord, the last uh, uh, string you play is always a D, and then, when you move here, and down here. 
I recommend not like this but like this so as I explained before and then you go to the verse which we will go are going to see now so the verse is made by uh, playing the D chord that I explained before and then you're moving your index and pinky finger let's let's now see exactly how it goes don't start playing the D from the from the, the D string but start from the A because remember the drone arpeggio just always starts from the A so okay then you go to the pinky here and these three fingers remain exactly in the same position then you move to a different you know uh, chord which is made by placing your medium finger on the second uh, fret of the high E string your ring finger on the third fret of the B string and you move your index finger on the second fret of the A string and then you move it down from the fourth movement you move it down one fret so your index finger goes to the first fret of the A string, the other two remain exactly in the same position. Okay, the whole goes like this. Okay, from this chord over, there is always an emphasis on the even because in the in the record is overdubbed the guitar is overdubbed here this way so you can put a more emphasis here but we will go through all the different embellishment later the second part of the verse changes for just two chords let me first play this one for you and then we will go after I, how I play each chord and how I strum them starting from here so So, first of all, the chords. The first one is a standard uh, C, where you have your ring finger on the third fret of the A string here, your medium finger on the second fret of the D string here, and your um, index finger on the first fret of the B string here. The other one is a G, which you play starting from uh, placing your ring finger on the fifth fret here on the A string and then your pinky finger on the 5th fret of the D string here and then you have your medium finger on the 4th fret of the G string and then with your index finger uh, you push together the um, B string and the high E string at the 3rd fret so the result is this one let me now show you how I play the arpeggio with my right hand of this, these two chords, these two different chords. The kind of pattern is identical to the rest of the song, but it's just moved down one string. So for the C, it becomes like this. to the usual arpeggio this way then there is the, the bridge part which is much easier than the previous ones let me show you this one then uh, I will explain to you, to you how I play in the chords so the D chord the initial D chord at the beginning is exactly the same as I showed. Then you move to this chord, which is you already saw this one, which is made by playing, uh, placing the index finger, pressing both the B and the I E string together at the third fret, and then your medium finger at the um, fourth fret of the G string, and then you move this one as I'm going to show you. So D. Remember that the arpeggio is identical to the introduction of the right hand. Up to fret, 
again down to fret. So this is a G and this is an A. And then again, same line. Then you move this chord, just identical to the first position. Third posi fourth position. One step down, one uh, fret down. Okay, so very simple. Okay, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I would like to bring this lesson to the next level here. So we will go through some more advanced uh, stuff for those of you who are interested. In my personal opinion, interpretation uh, is very, very important to communicate emotion to your audience. Emotion is what uh, amazes and was your audience and what uh, makes your audience come back to see you and uh, buy your RCDs. So if you are serious about music, uh, you should consider this very seriously. We are Beatles fans. We have this music into our DNA and when we hear exactly things, how they are played on the record, instead that way linear and plain our you know our heart moves we are moved from this and this creates a magic between you which are performing and your performance and your audience and this is very important to communicate with your audience and for your success so how do I play this instead of playing this linearly this way which is good if you want no problem. But if you want to really recreate the intention, we have to understand how John Lennon conceived that, the rhythm that he had in mind. So the rhythm is this one, so there is a cat, it's a this way, and we have to recreate this. How do we do practically, practically this? We have to take advantage of the rhythm of the decay, the release of the strings as we want. So for the first chord, we are going to, you know, um, stop the release at a certain point and delay a little bit the second chord. And then growing in intensity, we start smoothly. intensity in V and then growing, going down just a little bit then growing again and then growing again then you hear if this gives ghost bumps it's, it's different than playing all the things identical you know all the, the with the same intensity this creates a, a sort of a powerful emotion between you and who listens you know so little jump, little delay, and then little jump, little delay, and then here, what I do is, okay, this is just in the outro, but it's amazing, your land was a genius, excuse me, so how I do this, you remember the pattern is A, D, E, D, I don't play the D, instead of playing the D with my uh, index finger, I slide, my ring, my medium finger from the 11th to the 9th fret of the G string, so very slow. Okay, listen. But as I don't lift the fingers up, I, I keep them down. This way, this gives this... Um, I, I know this is kind of advanced, but if you were really a, a beginner, just apply to this. It's easy if you train. It gives easy. Okay, this amazing effect. And then I go up. This way, up again, and then here. Excuse me. Then you slide this string down from the your ring finger with your ring finger from the fifth to the third fret of the B string.
course here. So every string you play here has the same attack and intensity. Okay, and so on. So the intensity that you play is very important for the interpretation and the interpretation is very, very important to involve, to wow your audience so that your audience comes back, buys your music, buy your CD. And this was the Dear Prudence tutorial. Very long one, but amazing and nice one. Historical one. Ciao! If I love you too, oh please, don't hurt my pride like I can hide, I can hide, I can hide. With such a that you do You're telling all those lies About the good things that we can have if we close our eyes